hello boys and girls in class eight how was your day mine was fine as you can see i am ready to teach you and help you revise for your ktpa boys and girls today i want us to talk about digestive system i want us to talk about digestive system i do not want to ban the words talking about other body systems i want to only focus on the digestive system i uh, i have questions from uh, 2018 question number 19 2017 question number 12 2017 question number 38 and 2011 question number 27 as always I've just selected a few questions from a few papers. I couldn't collect from all the papers because of time and even space on my whiteboard. And so please, the tips that you use to revise this one, you can always use them to revise those other uh, KCP questions in different papers. And so welcome, it's about digestion and uh, I want to go directly to question number 19 of KCPE 2018 and it reads, please read together with me, the following are some parts of the human digestive system, esophagus, stomach, small intestines, large intestines. In which two parts does digestion of food take place? Remember, not in all parts digestion takes place. Before we answer that question, I would bring us to this, a few notes that I've scribbled here, parts of the digestive system. We have this part, the mouth, that includes the teeth, the tongue, and the saliva. Got the esophagus, also known as food pipe, and also known as gullet. We've got the stomach, we've got the liver, we've got the pancreas, we've got the duodenum, we've got the colon, we've got the ileum, the rectum and the anus. Now, there is a main part of the digestive system I would like us to focus. The alimentary canal. The alimentary canal. It is the continuous tube that starts from the mouth to the anus that starts, good grammar, starts from the mouth to the anus. It includes the following parts, mouth, gullet, stomach, duodenum, ileum, colon, rectum, and anus. As you can notice, some of the parts of the digestive system are not here. We can see the liver, we can see the pancreas. We can't see them because they are not in the tube. They are adjacent to the tube, but they support digestion. Apart from this information, boys and girls, I want us to look at the juices and the parts produced and the food they digest. We have the saliva. Saliva is produced in the mouth and it digests or breaks down the starch or carbohydrates. We've got the gastric juice which is produced in the stomach and it digests 
proteins with the help of some enzymes in the stomach. Now we have a certain juice that are written in black. I'll explain, explain why. Hydrochloric acid. It is secreted in the stomach. Its work is to kill germs present in the food that we have eaten. Remember, when we eat food, we don't know whether we are eating germs or not. But some food that we eat contains some germs. And the presence of hydrochloric acid is to get rid of those germs. And so hydrochloric acid does not digest the food but kills the germs. That's why I wrote it in a different color. We have the pancreatic juice. It is secreted in the pancreas. We have the bile, which is secreted in the liver and stored in the gall bladder. This pancreas and liver do not do digestion, but the juices produced there, they digest fats and oils inside the duodenum, inside the duodenum. They work in the duodenum. They work in the duodenum. Remember that. Now the bile works on the fats and oils. The pancreatic juice mixes with the food. It mixes with the food in the duodenum, it mixes in the uh, with the food in the duodenum in a process called emulsification. Emulsification. I don't know where you can write emulsification. Please, I think this is the spelling. Emulsification. This is the process. We. That's how they digest the fat and oil. They mix and they emulsify the, the fats and oils inside the duodenum. So remember, they are produced in the pancreas and the liver respectively, but do their work in the duodenum. I hope you understand. Then there's the last juice here called the intestinal juice. It is produced in the ileum. It works on the foods, other foods that did not get digested in the previous parts of the digestive system. The remaining part of digestion takes place and finally works in the ileum. Remember, all these have different works they do. There is the work of the saliva in the mouth. Boys and girls, pay attention. The work of saliva in the mouth. One. It softens the food, softens the food, saliva softens the food, makes the food soft and slippery or mucary. Let me write what you, 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 you would like to be, slippery, that, so that it is easy to swallow, right? It mixes and softens the food. In the mouth, we say we have the tongue. Its work is to roll the food into bowl-like structures known as food boluses. Food boluses. Let me write there, boluses. The food boluses, all right? Remember we don't swallow the whole food that you have bitten, but the food is now uh, softened and mixed with saliva, which makes the food particles to stick together and we swell, all right? So the tongue rolls it. It mixes the saliva with the food. The tongue forms the rollers and it helps in the swallowing of the food. Remember that. The teeth chew the food, they grind the food. So these parts in the mouth play a very important role. There's the esophagus, the food pipe, or the gullet. Inside the esophagus 
and the gullet, what happens there is called peristalsis. It's called peristalsis. Let me write it here. Peristalsis. Peristalsis here is the wave-like movement of the food boluses down the gullet. The wave-like movement of the food boluses down the gullet as you swallow. Remember the gullet is masculine, so it squeezes the food boluses down. That wave-like movement. Some books describe it as a, a, a spiral movement of food down the gullet to the stomach. That is in the in the gullet. So you already have known the other functions here. Now there's the colon. Colon's function is to absorb excess to absorb excess water and salts that is found in the in the in the in the food and digested food that is right yeah the rectum is to store them digested food minutes before it's ingested out remember this word ingestion before it is ingested ingested before it is ingested out. Ingestion refers to the, get, uh, the removal of the undigested food, all right? And the anus, that is the part that does the, the removal. I hope you've understood. Ilium has another function apart from the completion of the digestion. Ilium has the finger-like projections on its wall, the finger-like projections on its walls called the villas. One is a villas and the many are villi. These ones, they do what you call the absorption of the digested food into the blood system. Now having that information, boys and girls, it's now very easy to tackle these questions. So in which part, in which two parts does digestion take place? Now we've known what does digestion and what doesn't do digestion. Now, A says one and, and two. One is esophagus, the gullet. And we have discussed in the gullet, digestion doesn't take place. The food moves down in a process called peristalsis. So, the stomach, yes, digestion takes place of proteins. Let's go to choice number B. Two, the stomach, digestion takes place. So here, no digestion. Here, digestion, um, small intestine, digestion takes place, large intestine, the absorption of food. Now, so you could write here peristalsis and you could write here uh, digestion and here digestion. But here you, you could write absorption of excess water and salts. So it is obvious two parts that digestion takes place is two and three. So the right answer, boys and girls, it's obvious that it is B. Oh boy, did we understand that? So easy to answer. Once you've analyzed that way, you can answer. When you're revising boys and girls, just do that. Take some few notes on the topic being you are revising. Don't revise a whole paper. Revise topic-wise and you'll, you'll succeed. Let's come to uh, KSP 2017, question number 12. Which one of the following parts of the human digestive system is correctly matched uh, to its function. Again, we have the functions. Now, mouth, digestion of proteins. Boys and girls, where does digestion of protein take place? In the stomach. In the stomach. So this one is out. So this should, you should write the stomach. So the, the choice is out. Um, stomach secretes a digestive juice. Is that correct? Which digestive juice? Gastric. Correct. 
that's correct. We give it a tick. Small intestines absorbs water. Mm -mm. Which part absorbs water? That is the large intestine. That's the large intestine. Uh huh. Large intestine stores digested food. Mm -mm. It doesn't store digested food. Yeah, it doesn't store digested food. Digested food is not stored, it is absorbed. In the stomach, digestion is continuing. So it's not a storage of digested food. So food stays in the stomach for a few hours, three hours, while it is being digested. Then it's transported to the small intestine for absorption. So this one is also out. Boys and girls, we are proudly saying the choice B is the correct one. I hope you understand that. Yeah? There is a question on KCP 2016. I didn't have a space to write it on the whiteboard, but it's here. It says, which one of the following parts of the Almetri canal is um, correctly matched to its function? Almetri canal. But here was which one is math of the digestive system is correctly math but this one now is talking about alimentary canal look at the part of the alimentary canal and so they have said a mouth digestion of food does mouth, digestion of food take place in the mouth yes starch stomach production of bile really bile is produced where in the liver right small intestine Absorption of water, really? Absorption of water takes place in the large intestine. Large intestine, absorption of digested food. Mm -mm. These are, this one happens in the small intestine. So boys and girls, we are left with, um, with one answer. A, mouth digestion of food. Quickly, let us go to KSP 2011. Is it 2011? Have we done this? No. 2017, question number 38. During digestion, the following activities occur in the mouth. This mouth is a, a very essential part of digestion. In the mouth, except one. So one does not occur. So what are we looking for? Which one doesn't occur? Now, let's analyze the choices mechanical breakdown of food i know it might be uh, hard for you mechanical because of the movement of the jaws and the breaking the physical breaking down of food by the teeth the grinding of teeth that is mechanical boys and girls so it happens in the mouth mechanical happens physical this physical breaking down of food that's called mechanical then secretion of a digestive juice, which is saliva. Does it take place? Yes, it does. And then killing of germs. Where does it happen? In the stomach. In the stomach. Then rolling of food. Yes, it does by the tongue. And the tongue is in the mouth. So it does happen. We remain with the devil. One devil, arm um, one devil that we are looking for is killing of germs. It doesn't happen in the mouth. It happens in the stomach. You see how easy it is to do that? Let's go to question number uh, 27 of 2011, KCP 2011. Which one of the following consists of only, only of parts of the human body where digestion takes place? Does it look like that? It looks like question uh, 19 of 2018. Now, the choices almost look like, like uh, which one? Look like this one. But let's look at that. Mouth and stomach. Does digestion take place in the mouth and stomach? Yes. Which foods? Digested in the mouth is starch. And in the stomach, proteins. 
we are safe. So it takes place in the mouth and the stomach. Let's look at large intestine. Large intestine, no. Mm -mm. Its function is absorption. Remember to write that there. Of water and salt. But in the mouth, digestion of starch. So the choice is wrong because of the large intestine. Liver digestion doesn't take place in the liver. It secretes the bile. But in the stomach, yes, proteins. Very good. So that answer is wrong. Let's go to the last choice, large intestine and liver. Both of them do not do digestion. Boys and girls, our answer is standing out from among the four choices. And the answer is obviously A, mouth and stomach. Boys and girls, that ends our revision of um, KCP question. Why am I doing this? I want you to get acquainted to how the KCP uh, papers are set, the questions are set, and how you are supposed to analyze and get the right answer. Am I helpful? I hope so. Are you understanding? Are you benefiting? I hope so. Stay tuned and follow me on the next video when we discuss more about science. Bye.